So in this video, I'll be testing out mining on a laptop with a RTX 3080. I'll be going over mining Ethereum, Ergo, and using NiceHash. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of Miner. Okay, so I do own the Gigabyte Oris 15G YC laptop. Now this laptop does have an RTX 3080 laptop GPU. Now just be aware the RTX 3080 laptop GPU is not an LHR card. But because this is a laptop GPU, it does state right here on the bottom, the max graphics power is 105 watts. So because this is a laptop, they limit the GPU's power. And they do this with most laptops with a strong GPU, so the laptop doesn't overheat and damage the laptop. So just be aware, this is not an LHR GPU in a laptop. This is just a laptop GPU with its power limited. Now, I personally don't recommend mining on a laptop because I've seen laptops break, but if your laptop has good cooling, it may be okay. Okay, so this is my laptop with the RTX 3080. Now, let's go ahead and first test out mining Ethereum on stock settings. Okay, so let's start mining Ethereum. And the miner program I'm using is called Phoenix Miner. So let's check this out. Okay, so after a couple of minutes, it looks like on stock settings, I'm getting around 45 mega hashes. Now, according to the program, it does state that the GPU is pulling around 95 watts. Okay, so next let's go ahead and overclock the GPU to get more hash rates. So I put the core clock at zero and the memory clock at plus 690. Now, if I increase the memory clock above 690, my laptop will crash. So let's go ahead and run this miner and check this out. Okay, so after a couple minutes, it looks like I'm getting around 51 mega hashes. And according to the miner program, I'm pulling around 95 watts. Okay, so next let's test out mining Ergo on stock settings. So to mine Ergo, I'm gonna go ahead and use NB miner. So let's check this out. Okay, so after a couple minutes, it looks like I'm getting around 123 mega hashes. And according to the program, it looks like I'm pulling around 95 watts. Okay, so next let's overclock the GPU to mine Ergo. So for the core clock, I put it at zero. And for the memory clock, I put it at plus 690. So let's go ahead and run this miner and check this out. Okay, so mining Ergo with my GPU overclock, now I'm getting around 139 mega hashes. And according to the program, the GPU itself is pulling around 95 watts. Okay, and last but not least, let's test out mining on NiceHash with the RTX 3080 laptop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start this already overclocked. And according to the benchmark, the best algorithm to mine on the RTX 3080 laptop will be Dagger Hashimoto. And let's go ahead and test out mining on the CPU as well. So let's check this out. Okay, so first I pulled up XM Rig to mine Monero on my CPU. And then it pulled up Nice Hashes Miner to mine Ethereum. So let's check this out. Okay, so after a couple minutes, check out the nice hash dashboard. It looks like I'm gonna earn around $2.80 a day with this laptop. Now it looks like my CPU is on XM rig and I'm getting around 2.23 kilo hashes. And the GPU is on the Dagger Hashimoto algorithm, which is the Ethereum algorithm. And I'm getting around 50 mega hashes. But just be aware the profits do change daily. So by the time you watch this, the profits could be completely different. 
Okay, so in conclusion, it is definitely not worth getting a RTX 3080 laptop GPU for mining. Because the RTX 3080 laptop GPU limits its power, you're going to lose a lot of hash rates, which in return, your profits are going to be a lot less. Now, comparing this with a regular RTX 3080, it looks like I'm losing about half the hash rates. And like I mentioned before, it's not because it's an LHR card, it's because it's a laptop GPU. So this laptop is not too great for mining. And I personally don't recommend buying laptops for mining because I've seen them break. But if you have a laptop with really good cooling, it may be okay, but it is still risky because just beware, laptops do tend to overheat very easily. So thanks for checking out me testing mining on a laptop with a RTX 3080. And definitely check out my other videos testing different GPUs for mining. And if you have any questions you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday 2.30 p.m. US Eastern Time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub your side to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.